safe space. My office is where I feel productive. It's where my creativity thrives. And this tiny cozy space, this is where I feel most comfortable. My PC, my keyboards, the cute things, my plants, and the way I've decorated my home is really what brings me peace. At least that's what I thought for a while this entire year. Until... Mitch surprised me with a spontaneous fan life trip for a week. <laughs> As an introvert cozy gamer who hasn't been in nature this long and let alone a first time experience van life with no Wi-Fi, no tech, no work, I was a bit nervous and maybe a bit worried too. But along with that nervous feeling, I also felt refreshed. Experiencing something new and being in a different place ignited a sense of excitement within me. There's something so thrilling about that. And maybe it's a Sagittarius in me that feels that, but I think this is somewhat needed. Like that. A badge? You want to share a badge? It's like a pin though. It's an actual like pin behind it. Welcome to our home for the next five days. As you guys can see, this is our bed. Very cozy. Come look. Very cozy. Got enough space. I think this is like a queen-sized bed. Right there, you get all the natural lighting. Wake up to a beautiful sunlight. 
and then you can also have some privacy when you roll them up. We've got some compartment right here and right here. Not very big, but it works. We got ventilation up there. And when you back up, you see the kitchen. The bed is next to the sink where we brush our teeth and wash our hands and wash our dishes. And then we've got more compartment here, 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 here. So there's plenty of room. And I'm really excited to use this one because we get to cook on top of the stove. I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, we're both kind of like scared, but I'm excited. We'll see. And then we've got more like counter space top right here. Ta-da. And then we've got our own little fridge here. See me, Bubba? There you go. Okay. It's very cozy. And then we've got more seats back here. So you can probably have four more, two more people in here. They can sit in the back, get a little dinette. Is it called dinette? Dinette table here. More lighting. Then we got our control panel, more compartment. And the thing that I really like about this place, this van, is this area up here. Now you can push it up. You can, there's actually a bed inside there. So you can take a nap under the stars. You can't really see the stars, but there's like a little window. But yeah, welcome to our home. It's so cozy. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Now this is the part that yeah, kind of isn't the best thing, but like, I'm glad we have it. This is our ba bathroom in here. We get to shower and take a poop. Now, the thing that sucks about this, oh, I didn't even show you guys. Here, you can probably look at it. So we, you have like a little area for all of your toiletry, blah, 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 shower, and then your toilet. Um, more space here, I think. I don't know what that is for, but more space. <clears throat> now, I'm an IBS girly, okay? My stomach doesn't handle food well, and I don't know if I could like actually live like this long term because to actually maintain everything and like dump out everything there is like a bin at the bottom of this van and like it's this big bin that can hold four gallons of your poop and pee <laughs> and then it comes with this like rolly things it, and it turns to a luggage and then you have to throw it at like a dump site so i don't know if i could live like that long term but it works we got a we got a bathroom so we can use it anytime welcome to our home <laughs> This entire year, I was so caught up in doing the most because it's what we're taught, or at least that's what I was taught. You know, they tell you the more you do, the more you progress in life, the more productive you were, the more you'll be rewarded. But with that also came with the consequences of burnout, creative blocks, imposter syndrome, and losing a bit of myself. So. Honestly, shout out to Mitch because he finally pulled me away from my office to do entirely nothing. To appreciate life, enjoy outdoors, see what the world has to offer, and leave my stupid first world problems behind for once. Happy burger with American cheese, and this is Mitch's food, and this is the regular, what is it called? Shoestring fries. And I also got the happy burger with cheddar cheese. With cheddar cheese, because you know, lactose intolerant. <laughs> and then we've got, I got the seasoned fries. I think they're well known for their burgers, so this is what we got. And I'm really excited for this place because it has thousands of reviews. And I was like, we have to go there. I think it's gonna be great, so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a bite. This is actually Mitch's fries. Pretty good. Seasoned very well. Oh my god. It's like very comparable to McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries are great. Now, seasoned fries, this was an add on. So I'm assuming it's gonna taste a little bit more different. 
Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very fresh. Very good. Now for the burger. And I'm a burger person. So let's see. This is a very big burger, by the way. Mmm. Juicy. This is not cooked all the way, which I like. Very good. Out of 10. Eight out of 10. I don't know, I haven't had like a really good burger in a while. I think the burger that I've had that are really good is the one from back home. I forget what it's called, but it's like very well known in the East Coast. But they make like specialty burgers. This is like a classic cheeseburger. You need lettuce, tomato, all that. And it's really good. All right, so I'll do a fry again, but I already ate one. They're really good. Way better than McDonald's. I don't know how you, I don't, I don't understand the McDonald's reference, but they're way better than McDonald's. All right. This is my right? Uh-huh. This is a seasoned fried mm -hmm. mm. I like mine. Yeah, yours are good. Mm -hmm. It's reminiscent of the Arby's curly fries, mm -hmm. but not as salty and way more fresh. Messy burger. Okay. I'm not a huge burger person, but this was supposed to be the thing to get here, so went in Rome. Normal diner burger, like texture and stuff. Um, a thousand island on it is really good. I'm not a, a pickle person, but I think it's kind of necessary to balance everything out. What did you give it? Do I have to give it a rating? Yes, out of 10. Mm. Out of 10. I think your eight was accurate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give it eight out of 10. It's really good. Would you recommend it? Yeah, 100%. What did I learn from this trip? Number one, van life is not for me. Two, though it is not for me, it's actually quite manageable. It took some getting used to when you're dumping out your dump, but it was actually easier than I thought. Number three, I respect people who do the van life and I have grown so much appreciation towards these people because it's a simple life that allows you to be anywhere all at once. But there's also some limitations and just setbacks when it comes to the work that I do. I don't think it's for me, you know, I obviously can't have two PC setups in a van unless I'm living in an RV. I don't think it's just for me. Number four, the world is just too big to focus on our problems. And honestly, just being in different places in a van and having to experience that for an entire week brought me a bigger perspective on where I really am on this earth. Like I am just a tiny human being living our routine day to day. And yet we get so caught up in our own heads overthinking our problems, overthinking what others think of me, whether I'm gonna do well on social media, and just all the little stupid problems, you know? The last lesson, I really needed to touch grass and experience nature. Honestly, you don't really have to be in nature to satisfy that need for adventure. Just go outside, do something new, challenge yourself, or do something that's gonna take you out of your comfort zone because you might just discover something new about yourself or new perspectives. Anyways, 
This birthday was an important one to me and I'm grateful that I was able to experience and celebrate it in a way I was able to self-reflect and find peace in other ways aside from just, you know, staying in this cute, cozy room. So this was definitely out of my comfort zone. It's something new. Highly suggest you try it out yourself. If the fan life has been in your bucket list, it definitely has been in my bucket list for a while. So I'm glad I got to experience it and I would definitely do it again. I also want to thank you for watching this. I've been trying a new approach and getting creative in other ways with my filming and editing. And this upcoming year, I want to focus on improving quality of my videos one video at a time and express my art through filming and editing. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Have a happy new year and stay cozy.